Hey, what's going on today, guys? So today I'm gonna to bring you something new. This is the first in a series uh, I'm gonna be calling uh, Licks to Stay Limber. And these are basically finger exercises that I use to kind of warm up and get more dexterity and, and get my fingers more limber, essentially, uh, before I start playing. So this first one here I'm gonna show you is in D minor. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. But whenever I do finger exercises and, and basically when I'm doing practice, you know, warm up sessions, I like to play things that are still melodic, uh, keeps it a little more interesting for myself. And then once I have the phrasing down pat or the whatever the exercise is memorized, you know, muscle memory, then I'll add some dynamics, you know, and inflection in the notes, make it a little more interesting. So today we're going to be running through uh, the exercise with my Charvel DK24 in... What is this? Burgundy, satin burgundy mist, I think is the name of this color. Seymour Duncan pickups. And I'm going into the uh, ML Sound Lab Stevie T Amped, which is, I have the free version. Uh, it's still awesome. This thing is so cool. And by the way, Stevie T is back up, if you're not aware. Uh, so definitely support him and go to his channel right away after you watch this video and uh, check out his stuff or resubscribe if you have to. You know, like his videos, get him back to where he was because he was, if you hadn't heard, Stevie T's channel was hacked a couple of days ago. Unfortunately, YouTube was able to recover the channel for him, but I'm sure he can still use your support. So definitely go to his channel after you watch this. So without further ado, let's get into this first uh, Licks to Stay Limber. Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's go through this lick one more time, nice and slow, uh, with a little less gain so you can hear what I'm doing. I'm not gonna name every single note because we'll be here for a week, so just kind of follow along, listen along. Basically, the entire thing is in the key of D minor, and it's pretty straightforward. So I'll play it nice and slow so you can see what I'm doing. And then part two of the same lick is pretty much the same framework, so it's like this. Okay guys, so I thought I'd take the wrap up for this video outside because it's just a gorgeous day out here. There's not a cloud in the sky. The birds are singing, it's sunny. You gotta love this warm weather, finally. It's finally here. Uh, when I was editing the video, I kind of realized that I should have prefaced it by saying, if you're a newer guitar player, uh, I don't want you to be discouraged with this. I want it to be challenging to you, that's the point. And also, you know, play it slow. You don't obviously have to play it fast. There's no reason for that. I just, I do that because I finally got it down. So now I, you know, I work at that at my speed. But this is all about technique. This is all about making your warm up sessions in your practice a little more musical, uh, a little more technical, a little more challenging, and just breaking out of that cycle of playing three note per strings or scales or pentatonic licks or four note per string, you know, exercises. 
those are good too. They have their place. But if you want to have a little more fun, you know, while you're practicing and get better while you're doing it, try this, you know, give it a whirl. I should also tell you that the first part, the first half of the lick is basically the same thing. It repeats four times. But at the end of each cycle, it's a little bit different. So there's that to look forward to. You know, this has everything in it. It's got slides, it's got bends, it's got uh, hammer-ons, pull-offs, alternate picking, um, what else? A little bit of economy picking, a couple notes here and there. When I uh, change strings, challenge yourself. Give it, give it a try, see what you think, and maybe incorporate this into your own, you know, warm-up session. I hope that, uh, I hope you have something to take away from this video. Uh, it's the first one in the series. So give me some feedback, you know, give me a comment, let me know what you think. Um, I hope you like it. So until next time, stay safe, guys. See ya.